So my friends over at Olight have sent over a couple of products to review tonight. The first one is a Baton 3. Really lovely little compact flashlight. This one's a premium edition, so it comes with a charging case, but we'll take some take a proper look at that in a minute. Um, the second product they've sent over is the uh, Goba, Goober um, safety light. Really compact uh, light used to identify your whereabouts in twilight hours. So if you're a runner or if you want to put this on your dog, um, 28 hours life out of the battery before you need to recharge it. Three different colors of LED, four different modes. Uh, we'll do a proper review on that at a later date. But the real focus of tonight's review is indeed the Baton 3. So I was really interested to have to take a look at this. Um, one of the smallest flashlights I've looked at certainly in a long time at least and I was really interested to see how it compares with its much larger brethren such as the, uh, the Warrior Mini 2 which I uh, reviewed a little while ago and to be honest it does a really good job um, it's got a lot of the power in a much much smaller package uh, this is giving out 1200 lumens with a throw of 166 meters versus admittedly a more significant output on the Warrior um, of 1750 with a throw of 220 meters but a much much smaller package much much smaller uh, cell inside giving its power and really quite nice obviously the the output is lower the hours of use is going to be lower but in a lot of ways that's negated by the the charging case um, obviously that does compromise the form factor and we'll, we'll reflect on that in a little bit um, but that allows you to charge this up um, over three times so quite useful if you're out and about trekking um, compromise on, on the pack size really um, but if you're interested in any of these there's some links below there's a sale on now um, but at any time regardless of whether the sale links you can use my discount code on non-sale items so if you ever put in Chris 10 you'll get 10% off the full full price Olight range but what we'll do is we'll have a quick look at what comes in the box. We'll have a look at this torch, the Baton 3 in action. And then we'll reflect on whether this is a useful package or not. Taking a look at what's inside the box, we've got the familiar Olight magnetic closure carvel box. You see the model and spec on the outside. Inside we've got the little pull tab and underneath we've got the torch and charging assembly. Let's pull that out. There, I'll take a look at that in a moment. And then underneath that we've got some accessories, a nice little box. And we've got a charging cable Just uh, USB to USB C, no magnetic charger in this one. Instructions. And a little microfiber cleaning cloth to keep your lens clean. But let's have a look at the torch itself. So, coming from the factory. You get a little tab there just to stop it uh, charging whilst in transit or do anything strange. Got the charging case there, and then we've got the very petite Baton 3 itself. And again, for transit, we'll just need to unscrew it take out this little battery cover and then we'll be ready to go so there we have it so I thought this uh, really really nice painted finish would be worthy a bit extra close up here really really rather nice to look at I don't think this is anodizing I think this is probably a, a painted finish um, I don't know whether it's hydro dipped or what. I can't see any seams on it. Um, I can't imagine it's 
um, anodized. It looks really, really nice. Obviously on the case here, that's absolutely a painted finish. Very good match, but nowhere near as pretty as the, uh, the flashlight itself. So you pop it back into the case for charging and little green light pops on there. And when you're charging it from the mains using the cable, that little light will come on as well. So just looking at the features of this, very familiar territory for anyone who's used an Olight before. Very simple user interface. So it's a, a single push on and then hold it down to go through the three different brightness settings. Push off. If you hold it on um, for a couple of seconds, you'll go into moonlight mode. Okay. Very, very low output. Just see it on my hand there. If you double click, you'll go into turbo. Very impressively bright. Off again. And triple click will put you into strobe. So on the lower setting, the output's only 12 lumens. Not much throw. Really close up work for that one. Moving on to the medium. Starts becoming much more useful. 60 lumens, 38 meters through and seven and a half hours runtime. And moving up to the high setting, 300 lumens, 82 meters throw and 95 minutes runtime. And finally, turbo, which is 1200 lumens, 166 meters throw, and it's higher setting, an hour and a half of runtime. Onto the moonlight, Huge runtime, half a lumen, 20 days runtime. Amazing what the human eye can do. This is really actually very good for close up work and could really get you out of a pinch in an emergency. So I've had a good old play with the uh, Baton 3. We've had it out and about, lived with it for a few days. Really, really nice little torch. Lovely little form factor. Really, really like it. Great output. And to be honest, it's a sort of torch I'd end up carrying over the larger torches like the warrior here just isn't that isn't going to get in my pocket very often this i'm going to be much more inclined to carry literally weighs nothing you'll lose it at the bottom of your pocket in in the right way um just really nice little torch i think probably the sticking point for me is whether i like the premium edition obviously if you're going to be away from your camp or your home and you're not going to be able to charge up and you could be reliant on your flashlight that could be really useful be able to charge up your flashlight over three times could be invaluable to some people but to most people i think that really represents a little bit of a compromise on the form factor and i'm not sure how much i'll genuinely use that um, also with this you're tied to the case and a usb to usb c charger um, i really much prefer these chargers that come with most other olight products the MCC 1A, I think it is. Um, really, really convenient. Again, nice, compact, easily popped in your bag. Obviously relies on being able to access electricity of some sort. Maybe you'd prefer to carry a, a more universal power bank to use with this than the premium pack here. Um, but yeah, I, I much prefer just a simple torch, much better form factor. Having said that, most people don't end up with one Olight torch. People seem to collect them to an extent and a lot of people will already have this in their um, in their kit. So your mileage might vary. If you've had the premium edition, do let me know how useful that was, whether you've used it, how you've used it. If you had a bat, bat on three, what are your experiences with that? Any other Olight products, please jam down your, uh, your opinion down below. Obviously, as I said before, there are some links to the sale below this video. Outside the sale, you can use my discount code to get 10% off. That's Chris10. Um, and yeah, that's about it. If you haven't seen my channel before, please do check it out. There's a few flashlight reviews on there. A bit of everyday carry, pen knives, fountain pens, that sort of stuff. And also um, clothing, boots, quality boots, heritage clothing, that sort of stuff. Check it out. Might share some other common interests. If you found this video useful, 
please get a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next video. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.